three, two, one, go. Blue Eyes able to connect first thanks to Team 4930. Electric Mayhem scoring here during the autonomous period. Their alliance partners able to connect as well. Multiple pieces of cargo scored in that opening period. Blue Alliance with a slight advantage, 26 to 20 at the end of the autonomous period. Drivers are at the controls. Near side of the field, a pushing and shoving match taking place. And now a flag thrown by the referee on the far side on team number 4930. Thirty-four to thirty-two. Red Alliance is narrowing the gap now. Another piece of cargo drops in for the Red Alliance. Here comes thirty thirty on the left side of the field. In position, thirty o three launches cargo, scores one piece in the upper hub. Back to the action on the ground, near side of the field. Robot pops a wheelie. Trying to nose itself in position. That's going to be 49-30. Electric Mayhem. Thirty oh three unable to connect. Backs away. That's the tanks. Inside the Red Alliance hangar. Using its quad climbing system is 41-45. That's the Warbots. Blue Alliance able to get in for now five pieces of blue cargo in the upper hub. Blue Alliance taking the lead and now extending it. 52 to 42. Two more pieces of blue cargo added. 14.05. Benny Falcons, the Alliance captain, working its magic, trying to add more cargo before making its way to the hangar. Blue Alliance robots are there. Steel stingers on the traversal rung. The tanks hanging on the traversal rung for the Red Alliance. Time has expired. Period ended with the warbots on the mid rung. And the tanks on the... So in that last matchup, it was the number six alliance that beat out the number three alliance in the upset. Very interesting. Their strategy paid.